Hey guys, Gunwild here. If you saw the last video I did about my 6.8 build, which was the uh, first rounds that I put through it, you are aware that I had some issues with it. Um, for those of you that did not see that video, the first 41 rounds I put through this ran through perfectly. Round 42 would not completely chamber, and I had to use the forward assist to uh, get it to go completely into battery and then once I fired off that round the casing was wedged inside the chamber and I had one hell of a time trying to eject those casings well um, and I also asked anybody that knows about these rifles um, if they could give me some suggestions to what the issue was so um, I want to thank everybody that gave me suggestions. There was some very good suggestions, very uh, thorough um, suggestions of, of what to do. And I did everything that you guys suggested as far as uh, trying to troubleshoot the issue. Um, with the except, exception of one, a guy told me to measure the inside of the chamber with some calipers. Well, I don't own any calipers. Um, that's something I need to invest in uh, uh, in the future, which I'm going to have to because I want to start reloading, but that's a, a different issue. Um, but anyway, I, I basically completely disassembled the entire upper and inspected every inch of it, um, even getting in there with a magnifying glass, trying to see if I saw any cracks, chips, metal shavings, uh, anything that would prevent a, a round from completely chambering. And I couldn't find a thing. So I reassembled everything, took a round, dropped it in the chamber, it still would not go completely in. So okay, time to go to my gunsmith. So. I went to my gunsmith and told him what was going on. He took a, a round, dropped it in the chamber, went, went right in. And I'm just going, what the hell? Why wouldn't it work for me? Um, it was kind of like, have you ever had an issue with your car? maybe making a, some weird noise and you didn't know what it was and you can't figure it out you take it to your mechanic to try and get the find out what was wrong with it and then it doesn't your car doesn't make that noise anymore it was just like that but anyway um my, my gunsmith loaded the magazine with 10 rounds cycled them through with the with the charging handle they cycle perfectly no problems at all nothing was stuck everything chambered completely without using the forward assist um, then he reloaded the magazine with those 10 rounds fired off 10 rounds and uh, and rapid fire too bang 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 all 10 rounds perfect 
perfect, perfect. And I felt like such a dunce, you know. Um, like I said, the uh, the car and a mechanic kind of situation. You, you feel stupid. But anyway, I, I left uh, his shop with uh, confidence, you know, that this thing would work. And as you saw from the footage from the beginning and the footage that's going on behind me here, that it, it's it's running very, very well now. Um, I happen to have put 180 rounds of this uh, cellar and billet ammo through it yesterday. Perfectly. Actually, it was a 100 and how many boxes I have here? 160 rounds. Um, went through without an issue. So, it's working very well now and uh, I know you, there was a lot of people that wanted me to update them on what the problem was and I'm sorry I can't answer that because I haven't a freaking clue um, but it is working and I'm very very happy with it this is just a, a beautifully shooting rifle um, the only thing I don't like is the the A2 buffer setup because it's noisy, noisy, noisy. You hear that, bang, that kind of that that spring sound in it, and when you got a, a cheek weld, it kind of it amplifies it even more in in your ears. Um, but uh, I have ordered a product that hopefully will take care of that issue. And when that comes in, I'll, I'll show you guys. But I uh, just want to let you know it is working perfectly now. With the exception of that noise it's making. But that doesn't uh, hinder the uh, function of the, of the rifle. But um, yeah, very happy with it. This thing rocks. If you ever consider building a 6.8, I recommend it. Alright guys, I want to uh, thank you for watching and thanks for all of the suggestions that you guys gave me on the last video on this rifle. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.